guys, it is the end of February. And what we're going to do today is today's the time, this time of year to in zone six, you're watching Gardening on the West Fork with Teresa in West and West Virginia. And in zone six right now is the time to start trimming your deciduous trees. So the tree I'm choosing today is this lovely lace leaf Japanese maple. And we're going to go in there. We're going to clean off and clean out any of the dead, the anything that looks diseased, um, the congestion that's in there um, while you can see it and before it leaves out. This is not uncommon for the leaves to hang on your Japanese maples. And they're so easy to clean off. They just pull right off. They, uh, they hang on. And then they're the last ones to really get their leaves in the spring, which makes it nice around here because we can get snows and ice and cold. But I'm out here and like this morning when I came out to look, you can see there was a dead branch. I believe it came from under, where did I see that? Anyhow, came off the bottom edge. And with your Japanese maples or this, this nice umbrella shape, this tree is probably 24 years old. Um, you want to keep the branches from crossing themselves. Uh, you can't see it in the summertime or the springtime once the leaves come out because they're just so thick with leaves. So this is the good time of year to get in here. And I'm going to be using my hand pruners. I've also brought my loppers. And here's a good example of a branch that needs to come off because you can see how it's crossed over this big limb here and it's just going to be creating a problem so we're going to cut that off clean that out anything dead comes off congested this is what i consider congested you can see how they get all of these little branches and i like one thing about your lace leaf Japanese maples, you can work on them all summer long, all once they have leaves, to how you like it to look. You never want to cut off any of these side branches. You want to keep the width, let it drape to the sides, and you don't want to take a lot off the top. Now, because this butts up against this dwarf Alberta, which is not dwarf anymore, I keep anything that gets into the tree off anything that's going backwards comes off anything that is going into the tree it comes out it just gives a neater appearance and that's what you want with your trees you want your lace leaf maples to have the appearance you want and there's an, i keep mine limbed up so you can see the beautiful structure of this tree um, you can start from the bottom, work your way up, taking things out. You can crawl under there, anything that's wrapped around. So easy to do. I have done a pretty good job, it looks like to me, of keeping things cleaned out from under here. But let's look at the bigger branches and see if there's more that needs to be removed that could cause a problem. So far, I'm real happy with how it's looking. Through the summer, if this, if these branches start touching the ground, I clean them up. You know, I've, I've never taken a lot of time to show uh, this, what I call the a pond garden, because it's kind of maintenance free. I don't have to do much. This beautiful ground cover that you see under here is Pachysandra. It stays green all year round and it gets a nice little bloom on it in the summer but it has taken over this area like i wanted it to i don't have to get up on this um little slope you want a well-drained area for your japanese maple and you want it to get the morning sun not extreme heat fortunately my dwarf alberta keeps it fairly shaded and our heat has never been a problem for this tree I've never really fertilized it. I started out when it was a young tree 
we would keep it mulched and that mulch of course decomposed and then you get your your leaves that lay into the I don't rake all of these leaves out I will clean up around the edges but I'll just let them decompose and hide under the pachysandra I do have some plumbago in there too that is pretty but I'm looking now for another branch for example I don't know if you can see this one this one's going under this big branch I'm taking it off you don't want anything to rub against it and start breaking the bark on your tree is there another branch crossing nope good anything down here I'm going to clean off All right, I'm going to continue wiping this off, cleaning this off, anything that crosses in. And as I come down to the front of the tree, again, you don't want to take a lot off of your side branches. You want this to have this wonderful mushroom or umbrella look underneath the same thing. I climb under here and keep all of this neat and tidy so that you can see the tree form. And I do have a nice little Buddha statue that when I'm down in here, I try to, I don't know if you can see me where I am, but I will come down here because my statue sits right here where I'm sitting and I like to frame the statue. So you can come in here and take any of these branches so that you can um, have a good view of what you want to show. And you can see a better idea of where things are crossing, where they're... And one thing about these Japanese maples, they come back very easily. If you have one, you know that you can just continually work on them but oh what a beautiful specimen to have so carefree and nice oh i can see it pays to get under your tree and look up so don't hesitate get in here just like this anything that's going backwards doesn't make any sense <laughs> what a nice day. Oh my. So let's take a look on the other side here. Let me climb out. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Because you can see from this back side, I need to clean this out too. We're not doing evergreens. But for example, this, this comes out from where my chimes are keeping it clean I like it to look all forward and I'm gonna do this pretty cool you tr you don't really want to cut any main branches off the top but like this one looks a little peculiar I'll take it off once the leaves come out too I will see what this looks like and this may end up coming out but I'm gonna let that come on out this has to come off. It's going into the tree behind me. <laughs> the chime. Sorry about that. That's annoying. So what a good day to be doing this. Like, look at this, con what they call congestion. This is not healthy. So let's get rid of some of this where it gets all tangled up and as, throughout the summer you can get in here and clean out some of this congestion that. straighten it out anything dead comes out Ah, okay. 
come towards the front. And I think, oh, I can see, I can see some data in here. I will continue on, clean it up, and then we'll do uh, a final. I'll step back and I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. Hey, good morning, guys. It's the day after the uh, pruning of the lace leaf maple. I'm real pleased. You can see as I turn this camera around that I have taken all the leaves off. I have removed the congested areas here in front and anything that was crossing that was dead that could rub and scar the tree trunk. It's wonderful to get out this time of year, get your deciduous trees, um, tr you know, trimmed up, pruned up before in their dormant stages before their leaves come out. It allows you to have a, um, a better view of what their form needs to be. I did do a little cleanup underneath the tree in the Pachysandra, but I like to leave the leaves, I've mentioned that before, to let them feed the soil. So there you have it, the final view of the wonderful lace leaf Japanese maple. And um, when the leaves come out, I'll give you another view of this. So there, get out, start pruning your deciduous trees. It's spring, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.